Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ken from Travel the World with Torkin. If you are new from my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell so that you will be notified if I uploaded my travel experience. Enjoy watching Ken from Travel the World with Torkin. Welcome to National Park, Bump. Bump National Park is a famous for its sure alley colored lakes, majestic mountains, and endless outdoor adventures. Canada's first national park and the world's third. It has a rich heritage as one of the world's most awe-inspiring mountain destinations. Bump National Park dates back to 1883, when the railway workers discovered a national hot spring at the base of Sulphur Mountain. To resolve ownership, this points and protect the area's natural splendor. Prime Minister MacDonald set aside a preserve of 26 square kilometers in 1885. Two years later, in 1887, Canada's first national park would be established, expanded to 674 square kilometers, and named the Rocky Mountain Park. The park was renamed BAM National Park in 1930 under the National Park Act. The president of the Canadian Pacific Railway named it after his Scottish homeland, BAM Shan. Did you know that BAM has a rich and vibrant cultural and natural history, recognized globally by the United Nations, which designated the area of the Canadian Rockies as a United Nations educational, scientific, and cultural organization under the UNESCO World Heritage site in 1984? Bam Gondola, one of the earliest pioneers to ascend the heights of Sulphur Mountain, was part with urologist and museum curator Norman B. Tony Sanson. Sanson first climbed the mountain on snowshoes in 1896 in order to record the weather observations for the Bam area. Built in 1959, the Sulphur Mountain Gondola or the Bump Gondola is the only bicable gondola in Canada. A four-person enclosed car takes eight minutes to reach the top of the Sulphur Mountain, where Bao Valley, Cascade Mountains, Lake Minnewanka can be seen from the mountain top. The total elevations gain is 700 meters. The height of the ground in the Bump Gondola. The lower terminal is 5,194 feet or 1,583 meters above sea level. The upper terminal is 7,486 feet or 2,281 meters above sea level at the Sanson Peak is approximately 10 meters above the upper terminal altitude.
discover sweeping scenes of six mountain ranges, the Bao Valley, and the charming town of Bang from the Sulphur Mountain Summit. Once you are at the top, begin your adventure by strolling the boardwalk to the Cosmic Ray Station and Sansun's Peak and learn about Canada's first national park. Then, head inside to explore our world-class mountaintop Discover Center. Fuel up on the Gab and Go Fair and Castle Mountain Coffee or enjoy the elegant meal at the award-winning Sky Bistro exceptional service and a dew dropping vista and hallmark of all our summit dining experiences. Summer nights are equally stila on Solpo. Think nightly live music, rooftop patio seats, and dazzling sunsets. Join us the best summer here in the mountain. Why is it called Solpur Mountain? The crunch of fresh snow beneath your feet. Solpur Mountain, named for the two sulfurous hot springs found on its lower slopes, will amaze you and awe-inspiring 360-degrees view of the six mountains' ridges, the Bao Valley, and the town of the Bao. In 1976, the gondola became the busy. Vegetations and wildlife become affected, and design was needed that would help preserve the park. Today, the Bump Gondola remains Bump number one attraction and mountaintop experience with something for every visitor. Several scenic hiking trails laid away from the summit complex. One of the most popular is the self-guided interpretive Sulphur Mountain Boardwalk to Sansons Peak. More adventurous hikers will want to try the Southeast Ridge Trail, a hiking trail that runs along the ridge of the mountain to the south, taking you to Sulphur Mountain's true summit. Welcome to the Bao River. The Bao River is older than the mountains themselves as the rockies were being pushed up. The river was already creeping down, creating a road through the mountain's barrier. In later years, native people gathered wood for their bows along these banks, hence the name Bao River. Even in the summer, the temperature of the Bao River 
seldom rises above 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the six months of the year, it is never above freezing. In spring and summer, it will be melting snow and the glacial melt water. And the days grow colder, the rivers low, and it level drops. By winter, the bow looks more like its source and the ribbon of ice. By midsummer, glacial melt water feeding the boughs is laden with the particles of a pine powder rocks flower. All colors of the light spectrum are absorbed in the water, except the blue-green, which is reflected back of these suspended particles, hence the beautiful blue of the bow in summer. It is not all about travel experience, but it is also a food experience. We try to eat the best food in every city which meet our appetite. We found this the King Steakhouse and Bar Restaurant. If you want to try this restaurant, you need to book as early as for the reservation. I love to eat steak, but these combinations with lobster and shrimp is a new for me. Food is perfect, ambience is good, and service staffs are very friendly. My total experience in BAM are perfect, a one-lifetime experience. I can suggest you that two days in BAM are more than enough. You need only to prepare all your itinerary where you want to start. I suggest to start with a gondola ride in the morning because at the afternoon, maybe it's cloudy or the weather is not good. And after that, continue to explore the city of Bam. Thank you for your love and support to my channel. Feel free to leave your comment about what did you saw or any feedback that will help my channel to improve in the future. Don't forget to subscribe like and click the notification bell so that you will be notified if i uploaded a new travel experience video